YouTube, it's your girl Jordan here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you some of my top tips that I use to grow long, luxurious, luscious locks. So if you would like to know my top tips on growing long, healthy hair and retaining your lip, then keep on watching. Looking in the mirror, I think that's what I'm about to be. Eat healthy. Um, since I've changed my diet, I've noticed that my hair has grown tremendously. My body looks good. My skin uh, is, st is still very much so a struggle. But I know that my hair has really grown since I've started taking care of my body, consuming over a liter of water a day. Um, so that really actually helps my hair a lot. My second tip is taking vitamins. These are two hair vitamins that I have noticed that have truly helped my hair growth. The first one is, ooh, the first one is biotin, and I take these alternating them. Um, I prefer to take biotin, but biotin really breaks out my skin no matter how much what I drink, what I do skincare wise. Um, it doesn't help. And my second pill is Mal Organics um, Adult Healthy Hair Formula Vitamins with Biotin. And these work. I just don't like them because they're huge horse pills. But they do come in gummies. So once I eventually finish this bottle, um, I'll go ahead and buy the gummies because that's what I prefer. Third tip for growing long, luxurious hair is scalp massages scalp massages and i make sure i get all over my head scalp massages actually stimulates hair growth and i've noticed a huge difference in my hair health and hair growth from when i wasn't doing scalp massages until when i started doing scalp massages um i do at least two to three scalp massages once a week and i've noticed that my hair has grown tremendously jojoba oil um i got this jar from walmart it was super affordable it was maybe four dollars um and i've noticed that jojoba oil has helped my hair grow tremendously especially with my scalp massages um when i wear my hair curly in its natural state what i will do is i will put my deep conditioner in after my hair is all detangled and then I'll pour the jojoba oil in my hand. I'll rub it in and do my scalp massage all around my, I don't want to mess up my hair. Sorry y'all. <laughs> I've noticed that that has made a tremendous difference in my hair growth as well. And I love to do it while I'm deep conditioning because I just had that hot water on my actual scalp which opens up the pores in my scalp and that way that jojoba oil can sink into my head and just mixing that with the scalp massages to get the blood circulating it really just helps a lot my next tip is going to be deep condition your hair this is garnier fructis damage repairing treatment on one minute hair mask I leave mine on for longer than a minute but I love this stuff I feel like it's really good and it helps out with your hair a lot so if you have dry hair like mine especially if you are a naturally curly girl then your hair gets dry especially your ends which may cause your hair to break off so that's why I encourage you all to deep condition your hair you'll see a tremendous difference i also enjoy doing protein treatments on my hair and i've told my cousin to do scalp massages with jojoba oil and a mix of protein treatments and deep conditioning treatments and she has noticed a tremendous difference in her natural hair as well and her hair is actually growing and she's retaining that length as well it's going to be limit the heat that you put on your hair so I've learned from personal experiences that putting a lot of heat on your hair causes breakage. So when you're flat ironing your hair every day because you want that sleek look, 
it's going to cause your hair to break off and you aren't going to retain that length. Trust me, I know because I was wondering why my hair wasn't growing because I was flat ironing it every day. Moisturize your hair. If your hair isn't moisturized, then of course your hair is going to break off. So you just want to make sure that you're moisturizing your hair, babying your ends and really protecting them so that they'll stay nice and long and you're retaining that length. My last and final tip is going to be leave your hair alone. I know everyone wants to plan their hair and they love touching their hair, but that can actually cause more harm than help. So I want to encourage you ladies to leave your hair alone. I notice when I just leave my hair alone and let it be that it grows tremendously and that is something that truly works for me. So those were my top tips on how to grow long, luxurious, luscious hair. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to share it with a friend. Bye guys.